tourism from Madrid. After the pandemic, now comes the economic crisis. Spain was already one of the European countries worst affected by coronavirus. The knock-on effect to its economy could be just as serious. The country's tourism sector accounts for 12% of its GDP and employs 2.6 million people in Spain. However, the pandemic and the resulting lockdown brought the industry to its knees. Tourism was slowly starting to recover after the lockdown was lifted, but the decision by the UK government to reimpose a two-week quarantine for all travellers from Spain means that recovery has pretty much been stopped in its tracks. And this is why. According to the most recent figures, Britons are by far the biggest group of tourists that travel to Spain. In 2019, there were 18 million visitors from the UK. Germany is next on the list with just over 11 million visitors, closely followed by France. Italy comes in fourth with four and a half million visitors. Now, not only do the Brits come here in big numbers, they bring in big money. The latest statistics from the Spanish government found that the average spending per British visitor was around $1,200 for their total holiday. Overall, UK visitors spent $21 billion in Spain last year. It's difficult to know the outcome for us. In hotels and resorts, we were already expecting very low occupancy rates, maybe as low as 25 or 30 percent. So right now, we'll have to adjust those predictions down even further. So the question is, how will Spain fill the financial gap left by the loss of its tourism revenue? We had good news just uh, very recently on the European Recovery Fund. Are there going to be a lot of conflicts with the Spanish government between, you know, the European Commission, the European Council? What reforms are you going to do? Commit yourself. What are they going to look like? Then the release of the funds. So there could be a gap there. Um, while the tourists don't come and while Spain waits for this, these uh, grant, grant funds from the EU that um, we're really going to suffer. The signs are already looking bad. Spain lost one million jobs between April and June this year, its biggest ever quarterly decline. Normally, the second quarter is a traditionally good period for employment. Why? Because of tourism, of course. Not this year. Rahul Pathak, CDTN, Madrid.